we make a lot of graphs and charts at The Guardian. Our data journalists crunch through a lot of numbers to make information more useful and more accessible. But what if you couldn't see it? Hi, I'm Nick Evershed, the Data and Interactives Editor at Guardian Australia. And we've just launched Noisy Charts, which is an app for turning data into sound. We really want to build into our, our graphs that we use on our website um, an audio mode for vision impaired people. Uh, for the first example, we're going to have a look at um, carbon emissions since 1800. Yeah, so what, what's happening is it's, it's taking um, each year's worth of CO2 emissions, uh, which ranges from 28 million tonnes to, yep, over on the left, to 37 billion tonnes on the right. Um, and then it maps that data against a pitch, which in this case is going from C3 through to C5. So it's got a sampler mode which allows you to map the data not just to a synth noise but to realistic instruments and sounds. Um, and the example I've made for this is actually like a, a sad trombone sound, you know, like womp womp wah. <laughs> so the, the idea with this is that it's got several different modes depending on how it's being used. Um, so it's got a mode which literally just plays the sound and the animation, which is um, for when you can explain it in text above the video, so as not to double up. Um, but it's also got a more accessible mode where it will read out the chart values for you. The lowest value on the chart is one, and it sounds like. The highest value on the chart is 20, and it sounds like. Each note is a year, and the chart goes from 2008 to 2021. Cavital ranking. Maltese cross ranking.